Okay, and the competition is on. Let's see who the gold medal goes to. Welcome, everybody. And it looks like gold medalist tonight is Luis Fernando. Yay, very nice. Macy. Yay. S very nice. Second, I uh, know, Diego, you're second. And I can't even tell bronze. That was so fast. Yes. Yes, like I mean, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Oh, you are. You're going to take gold? Oh, yes. Yeah. Hey, how is everybody? So, so, so Nate, uh, uh, I'm here because I, I know somebody told me you are you're going to sink here. It's true. It's true. Well, oh. yeah, go, go, oh. go, go. Oh. 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 That's uh, a rumor. Some, that is a some... rumor that I'm going to sink. And a little, a little bit, a little bit. A little me. bird told you that. Yeah, That's great. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got to yeah. say this. Nothing comes yeah. for free, my friend. Oh. Nothing comes for free. Oh. So I have here in front of me list of a lot of vocabulary words, and I'm going to see how well oh. you guys have been studying. Oh, and God. We'll see. Oh, God. <laughs> I read, I read today. Challenge. It is so nice to see everybody here tonight. Thank you so much. Um, for those of you that may not know me, my name is Nate. Some people call me Uncle Nate around here because <laughs> they think I'm their yeah. uncle. Oh. And uh, that's just fine with me. Um, I live in the United States in the state of Nevada. And I love working on verbling. I think it's really fun. I'm interested in languages. And actually, uh, I teach Spanish during the day to kids. and. Uh, right now, I kind of have a goal of learning Portuguese. Oh, so, good. Oh, if anyone good. would like to add me, look for me on Google Plus and add me because I would like to do some Google Hangouts where I could just speak conversational Portuguese. But anyways, that's another story. Ah, and, good. And, and, I, I, I'm so glad to know that. Okay. I thought maybe. If I can help, if I, I can help no, nothing you. Nothing in Spanish? Hey, amigo. No, it's amigo, no, I've got Spanish. a lot of Spanish practice already. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, like, well. but your your hangouts, uh, Portuguese hangouts. It's so late. Like your classes. Oh no 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 no! This would just be a personal one. Okay. So when I want to practice, okay. if you're on, you know. So feel free to add me if you would, if you speak Portuguese and you'd like to. Anyways, um, okay. Uncle Nate. Yes. Uncle Nate. <laughs> so I don't. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't speak Portuguese, but I'm gonna add you. That's okay, fine. that's just fine. No problem. Say, okay, so let's get started with our class. Um, I heard that there are several million people who wanted to attend this class tonight, but only you ten made it. You're oh. so lucky. Wow. Yeah. Tonight so we're going to, yes, you are so special. So tonight we're going to be practicing, uh, well, why is everybody talking about me singing in the chat? It'll happen at the end, maybe, okay? No, at the beginning. Um, no, 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 you have to earn it. But, well, um, in the beginning, we're going to be, well, we're maybe a little bit all around. We're going to practice uh, our vocabulary and reading today. Let's very quickly introduce ourselves. I love to have you all in class. Let's start on the left-hand side of the screen. Diego, you're up first, my friend. Hello, my name is Diego. I am from Colombia. Excellent. Thank you. It's always nice to have our friends from Colombia here. Thank you for joining. Thank you. And Igor. Uh, hello, my name is Igor. I'm from the Republic of Moldova. Moldova? Yes. Do you know this country? Uh, I've got to be honest with you, no. Teach me just a little bit. It's between Romania and Ukraine, Eastern Europe. Oh, okay. I'm writing it down. I believe you are my first student from Moldova ever. Yes, so I between, think so. Between special, man. Ukraine and Romania, that's really awesome. I'm happy you're here. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Kareem. Hi. Hello. My name is Kareem, and I'm from Belfast. And we're happy you're here, my friend. Welcome, Miss mm -hmm. Laura. How are you tonight? Hi, I'm fine. I'm from Costa Rica. 
Wonderful. Thank you for joining. Luis. Hey, I'm here. So, my name is Luis and I'm from Brazil. Yeah. My future Portuguese teacher, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I, I can I can help you if you want. I can yeah. I went on Verbling and a girl from Portugal laughed at me because I was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Mamun, hello my friend. Mamun. Hello, uh, I'm Mamun Castilla from Lebanon. <laughs> <laughs> Mamun. <laughs> oh boy. Everybody jokes a lot late at night. I don't understand that. Well, um. well it's nice. Let's uh, let your wife then introduce herself. Mika. Yeah. Hi, uncle. I'm Mikaela. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina. And I'm so happy to have a lot of husbands. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Wow. Motas. Hey. How are you? I'm great. Talk How to us, friend. You? I'm great, thank you. And yeah, I'm from Syria. Yes, you are. And did the snow melt away? Yeah. Oh, sorry. We have snow. I've got to tell everybody, this morning when I woke up, it was minus 9 Fahrenheit at my house. Fahrenheit? Oh. Yeah, that's like minus... 22 Celsius. Ooh. Ah, oh. yeah. A little hot. A little no, 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 no. <laughs> and I remember seeing uh, Sebastian was on a class outside because it was so hot in his house. And I thought, yes. oh, wow. I wish oh. <laughs> you were jealous, Uncle I Lee. was you were jealous. jealous. I was very jealous. And oh. last but not least, one of the Princes of Verbling. Sebastian, would you introduce yourself? Princes. <laughs> Princes. That's so weird. Oh, that mm, very interesting. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I'm but glad you that. You see what you did? You see what you did, my Uncle Nate? Mm, um, I'm Sebastian from Santiago, Chile, and I'm, um, yeah, I'm a ninja. Yes, you are, my friend. Well, uh, tonight, uh, we will add to the vocabulary we have been learning. After tonight, I'm going to make a master list of all the vocabulary I have taught in my classes since the beginning of the year, and you will be able to download that tomorrow night when I have my class. Uh, but in the meantime, this is how you can get on my good side and earn me singing La Puerta by Luis Miguel. That is the song I prepared for oh. right? Okay? So. La puerta o la puerta? What's that? La puerta o la puerta? La puerta. Ah, okay. Uh, la, la puerta. puerta. All right. It's Spanish. It's oh, yeah. It's Spanish. Yes. It's Spanish. Okay. But uh, first of all, you've got to earn it by reviewing some vocabulary with me. All right. Let's take a look here. Uh, I will say a sentence, and I would just like you to type the answer in the blank on the side. And I hope that we have many, many students who remember oh these words. God. Okay, here we go. I didn't understand that question. It was so blank. I don't remember, or I don't even understand that question. To me, it was very... Wait, just wait. No, uh, don't tell me to wait. That's my that's my last name. Wait. Very good. Baffling. Baffling. <laughs> Very good. Next one. When I dropped the knife, it the blade hit my hand, and now I have a blood. Blood. Mahmoud, you've been first twice. Are you using notes? <laughs> um, uh, no, but I I only attended one class of yours, and these these words are were all in that class. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna skip because you know this morning it was so cold in my classroom, I felt like I might get on my fingers. Die. <laughs> Motas, very nice. Mm. Oh, it's so hot. Frostbite. Frostbite. 
They're advanced, right. not hard, advanced. It's uh, advanced. Um, when the dog got scared, he in the corner. Starts with the letter H. Mota is very nice. Uh, this is spelling. Huddle. 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 Oh, two Ds. Yeah, I remember when the the funny position. Yeah, yeah, I had to act <laughs> that one out. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Um, yeah, because that is my my hey, definition. Huddle. Huddle. Of huddle. Uh, how to how to spell? Uh, when? Yes. No. Uh, when the uh, American football, the the same attack team. The it's same. The same. It's called a huddle okay. when they get off. Yes. The yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Um, something that you can use for many different, in many different ways, is very. First letter is a V. Versatile. Very good, Mahmoud. Versatile. Oh, okay. No, that's too old. Right. Well, listen, Luis. You'll just have to uh, tomorrow. You'll have to download the entire vocabulary list. Last one before we start new today. Um, when the child misbehaved, his mother had to him. Good. When the child misbehaved, yes, Kareem, his mother had to chastise him. Chastise. Very good. Very good. I see uh, Kareem got that on the chat. Corbin got that on the chat. Very nice. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at our story then. If you could all please download uh, our story for tonight. There are two attachments to our lesson. The first one is, of course, a verbling vocabulary sheet. If you'd like to print that out or use it to keep track of vocabulary, that would be a fantastic idea. The second one is, it says the pet store fill in the blank. Okay? And what we're going to do tonight uh, is you can download the fill in the blank. I will read, and you'll just fill in the blank, and that will be a great practice, a listening practice, as well as a writing practice. Okay? Okay. Are we all on board? I'll wait for just a second and make sure everybody has yes. has the sheet in here. Okay. I'd like to encourage okay. everybody to please um, thank you, Montas, for putting that up there. I'd like to encourage everybody to please uh, feel free to volunteer. That's the best way to learn is to just volunteer and jump right in. So here we go. Here's a story for tonight. It's called The Pet Store. Pet Store. The Pet Store. What is a pet store? It's a store, a store to sell buy. animals. Uh, sell animals and foods to animals. <laughs> what kind of animal can you buy in a pet store? Dog, cats, parrots. Uh, Could bird. you buy a uh, cow? Rats. No. Cow? No. Uh, how about? Um, oh, I don't know. Let me think of another one. Maybe could you buy a lion? A lion? Yeah, that's a great one. No. 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 What's the difference then? You said a store to buy animals. The most animals we can keep. Yes. Right. Dem uh, Mamun put a great word, domestic. Or dom in English, you can also say domesticated as an adjective. Domesticated animals. Or animals that live with you uh, as your companion. Okay? So let's take a look and see how, um, see how we do on our reading of the pet store. So the first time through, I'm going to read it just normal speed. It might seem kind of fast but do your very best. The Pet Store.
Cody and his sister April decide they want a dog. They head down to the local pet store and have a look around. It's a very small pet store that doesn't have many animals. The owner of the shop is a nice old man named Mr. Smith. He walks over and greets Cody and April. How can I help you, he asks. We would like to buy a dog, April responds. Ah, well, we're not a big pet shop, Mr. Smith tells her, so we only have two dogs to choose from. They ask Mr. Smith to show them the dogs. Mr. Smith leads them to the back of the store where the two dogs are. One of them is a very big bulldog named Buster. The other is a tiny chihuahua named Teacup. April wants Teacup. Cody wants Buster. They walk outside to discuss. They can't agree on a dog. April suggests they might race home for it. Um, excuse me. Cody agrees. <laughs> Okay, April suggests they race home for it. The winner of the race chooses the dog. Cody agrees, then tells April her shoelace is untied. When April looks down, he runs off and gets a head start. Mm -hmm. Cody runs as hard as he can. He really wants that bulldog. He looks back. April is so far behind, he can't even see her. Cody finally gets home. He's tired, but he's happy. He knows he is the winner. April arrives a few minutes after Cody. She congratulates him. They return to the pet store to purchase Buster the Bulldog. However, when they arrive, they only see the teacup, or they only see teacup, the Chihuahua. They ask Mr. Smith where Buster is. Mr. Smith gives details. He explains that a few minutes after April and Cody leave, two boys walk in and buy the Bulldog. Cody looks at April, and she holds back a smile. Cody sighs. He turns back to Mr. Smith. Sometimes you win the race, but not the prize. Cody smiles sadly. We'll take the Chihuahua, please. Oh, great. <laughs> it serves him. Do you know the phrase, it serves him right? Let me write that. <laughs> oh, good. It serves you right. Have you ever heard that? Which one? It serves you right. It serves you right. No. no. Oh my word. Okay. Do you see in the? <laughs> can you see in the sidebar there where it says it serves you right under the name Corbin? Yes. Yeah. I don't know how, but somehow I am logged in on my son's account. <laughs> so so where it says Corbin, that's really me. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> right, Uncle Corbin. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, when when you you do the the example and Karim and Corbin put chastise, that you, was me. You, you I put it, yeah. And, and I complimented Karim Corbin. I saw it. I, I thought he was on. I remember you said Corbin got uh, chastised. Okay, Corbin. so I'm Corbin right now. <laughs> Uh, that's a point for you guys towards the singing, I admit. Okay. All right, so here we go. Uh, look back at your fill-in-the-blank and tell me how many words were you able to get. 15%, 20%. Uh, go ahead and write on the chat how much you think you got. My chat doesn't work. I don't know why. I read something and it doesn't appear. Purple chat. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. So, I I hate to have you log out because you might lose your spot. But if you refresh, it might redo. No, because it has happened to me a okay. lot of hours before. Okay. It I would suggest I don't know if you're using Google, Google Chat. Chrome. Yeah. I would suggest you use Google Chrome. I'm using it. Okay. Okay. I well, will. um, uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I can use Google Chat. Okay. Um, well, we'll just we'll just keep going along here and just participate the best you can. Okay. Okay. All right. So I see Luis put seven. Sebastian about eighteen percent. Mota sixty to seventy. Okay. Sebastian eighteen words. Nice. Kareem, goodbye. We'll see you later. Uh, Mahmoud sixty to seventy percent. Igor, I don't see a response from you yet or Lara. 
from these text uh, words uh, that you read? Yes, from the, the fill in the blank. How many of those were you able to get? We're just estimating. Thirty percent? Okay, nice. And welcome, Rod. It's good to see you in class. Um, okay, so usually what I do the second time through, I'll read a little bit slower. And after each section, if there are some vocabulary you'd like to learn, just say, hey, Nate, can you tell me what that means? And we'll talk about it that way, okay? Laura, I, I didn't see how much you got. I can I didn't write anything because I only listen. I, I only was listening. Oh, okay. Okay. And I get I, I get confused. Do you have the document? And my chat, yes. Okay. But my my Berlin chat doesn't. Don't, I don't know. Doesn't no no me funciona. Okay. All right. Me too. <laughs> All right, I'm so sorry. I know they're working on improving the site, and so in the meantime, there's just a few little things. Welcome, Miss Brenda. It's nice to have you in class. Hi, Uncle Nate. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go back uh, and read one more time here. I'll do it a little bit slower this time. Cody and his sister, April, decide they want a dog. They head down to the local pet store and have a look around. Go ahead and let's see what uh, what words you put in those blanks. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll let people type them at first, and then we'll say them. Type the the words. Yes, please. The words that should fit in the blank. I wrote it in the Google chat. <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh, it looks like a lot of people are getting uh, decide. Cody and April decide they want a dog. They head down to the local pet store and have a look around. Very good. Next sentence. It is a very small pet store that blank have many animals. It is a very small pet store that doesn't have many animals. I kind of gave that one away. Go ahead and write that in, please. I, I cannot see anything. I'm trying to get into the link, but I can't. Hmm, let me see if I can help you. See if that link works for you. What two words go together to form the conjunction doesn't? Do, does not. Does not. Very good. Does, does not. and not. Does yeah, not. Um, was the link working for other people? Yes. Uh, I have a question. Uh, I I can be able uh, to fill the blanks in the documents. Um, I believe that the document is probably just for uh, printing, and then you could like write, or you could just look at it on your screen and write the answers on a separate paper. Uh, uh, okay, that's only for. Uh, it's just for a uh, reference. Or take a look. Yeah. Ah, uh, thanks. Mamun has a great uh, advice. Just try to open the document in another browser, perhaps, also. OK, I'm going to go on. The owner of the shop is a nice old man named Mr. Smith. He walks over and greets Cody and April. How can I help you, he asks. What would you fill in the blank there? Owner, very good. Greet, mm -hmm. greets, yes. In the present, uh, for the third person, many verbs have the S on the end. So you'd say the owner greets with an S on it. 
That's important. Very good. Most of us are getting that. We would like to buy a dog, April responds. Ah, well, we are not a big pet shop, Mr. Smith tells her, so we only have two dogs to choose from. They ask Mr. Smith to show them the dogs. How would we spell wood? Are you sure that it's not this kind of wood? No. What is that? Oh, they sound the same, right? Wood, wood is kind like the forest. Oh, Very no, good. no, no. It's, yeah? Okay, yes. <laughs> yeah, wood, wood is a material made out of trees. Okay? And so uh, you could say the table is made out of wood. This one. Um, oh, madera, madera. Madera, exactly. Okay. But wood, W-O-U-L-D, is a conditional, it's the conditional wood, okay? I can't believe I'm writing under Corbin's name. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mr. Smith leads them to the back of the store where the two dogs are. One of them is a very big dog, bulldog named Buster. The other is a very tiny chihuahua named Teacup. April wants Teacup. Cody wants Buster. They walk outside to discuss. Good. I, uh, I see Sebastian had some fill-ins there. Does anybody else have some possibilities? Lead and outside. Maybe it could be lead. Lead. Yes. Then I don't know. Maybe could be. Yes, you're right. Again, that's third person singular. Or so we would. Or the third person in the present. So we would want to say leads with the S. Okay, very good. So it leads outside. What's another way to pronounce that word? Lead. Lead, very good. The metal, lead. Yeah, or a color. Yes. Uh, in Spanish, it's plomo. Lead. Yeah, plomo. Okay. So that's another... That's a tricky word. It can be two different things. I'm going to keep going on. Um, they can't agree on a dog. April suggests they race home for it. The winner of the race chooses the dog. Cody agrees, then tells April her shoelace is untied. When April looks down, he runs off and gets a head start. Go ahead and see which ones you could fill in there. Shoe, agree, suggest, shoe, head start. Thank you, Sebastian. Am I losing some of the rest of you? Louise. I think some people maybe went to sleep. 
hey, if you want to earn the singing, we're going to have to get a little bit better here. Let's see. So Cody agrees and tells April her shoelace is untied. Shoelace like, like this? Shoelace? Like no. this. Shoe is right. Lace. Shoelace. Oh, shoelace. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it, it, it's the right. The, the knot in yeah. You can yes. see me. <laughs> it's the string. It's the string you tie to hold your shoes on. Hold on. Yeah. Yes, on. exactly. Uh, yeah. I also wanted to talk about the word head start. You know what a head is, right? Yeah. Your head. Yes. And what start is? What does it mean to have a head start? Like I, I start earlier than you, so. I am in front of you. Very good. I'm ahead of you. I'm leading you. Yeah, it's like you begin before anybody else does. It's kind of like what you guys do to become ninjas. <laughs> right? You try to get a head start. Um, let me finish up here. Uh, Cody runs as hard as he can. He really wants the bulldog. He looks back. April is so far behind he can't even see her. Cody finally gets home. He is tired, but he is happy. He knows he is the winner. You can fill in a few of those. Finally, very good. So, finally, very nice. Okay. April arrives a few minutes after Cody. She congratulates him. They return to the pet store to purchase Buster the Bulldog. However, when they arrive, they only see Teacup the Chihuahua. Congratulate, purchase, okay. Uh, Rod, let me help you. Um, we're like towards the bottom of the story. Uh, the next line I, I read is going to be the second to last line. I want to say, I'm, thank you, arrived, good, Momo. I want to say, I'm very uh, impressed with your spelling. Very impressed with your spelling. Uh, you're doing a very good job on that. Let me finish up really quick and then we can go to some to the reading part of this. Cody looks at April and she holds back a smile. Cody sighs. He turns back to Mr. Smith. Sometimes you win the race, but not the prize. Cody smiles sadly. We'll take the Chihuahua, please. So please let's uh, just type in the last few words and then we can work with some of these words and see what we see what we've learned explains looks like that a i n s there you go and looks pretty nice Let's talk about what would be some of the most useful words uh, to add to our vocabulary list here. Does anyone have a word that was new to them that you would like to add to the list? Or did you know Maybe all of these words? Head start. Head start? Okay, that's one that I thought we might choose. Very good. I have that. Does anyone else have one they'd like to nominate? Ingrid, do you have one that was new for you? No. I miss you knew it all. All those I'm sorry, excuse me? I miss it all when you said. Okay. Were any of these words new for you? I don't think so. Okay. Igor, were any of these words new for you? From blanks? Yes. Well, well, from anywhere, actually. 
from blanks. I think uh, no, only head start. Maybe uh, I didn't know, but uh, okay. Any other words new to you? Uh, yes, but I uh, I don't see now this word. I will find this word from this. Okay. Thing. Yeah, if you find one, just go ahead and uh, let us know. Anyone else have one? They'd like to nominate. I forgot what it means. Meaning of needs. 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 Leads. Leads like this? Okay. That doesn't work. Okay. Um, L E A D S. Leads yeah. Yeah. means to go before and guide someone. Oh. That's a good one we can add. What about size? I was writing it, but the chat box doesn't work. Okay. So. <laughs> S I G H S. Yeah. Size. What does that mean to sigh? Uh, I don't know. Small smile. Um. Yeah, like it's like it's actually like a sound you make when you're frustrated. You go. <sighs> okay. That's a sigh. Okay. Um. I don't know what it's called in Spanish. Sigh. It's a suspiro. Suspiro. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Uh, how about one more? It's easy vocabulary. Okay. Good. Well, we'll just add those four then. That's okay. And um, I'm going to put in both of both the Google Chat and. Uh, Burbling chat, a link now to the document complete with all the words in it. Okay? And let's, uh, some of us, take a turn reading and see what we can come up with. It could be a second to open that. This is a quiet class tonight. <laughs> because we are concentrators. Because you're reading? Okay. Yeah. yeah and because there's no Mika. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> oh, where did I mean, she she's go? The, she's the life of the party. That's what yeah. I mean. Oh, okay. Okay. That's sad. I wonder where she's at. All right. Well, let's take a look here. Uh, who would like to read some of this? For me. We use it for pronunciation practice. Me, okay. Me, me. Okay, me, me, me. We'll let you start me, off. Me, me. Yes. Uh, after me, who would like to go? Me. Sebas. Okay. Ingrid. So Ingrid will go next, then Sebastian. Then me. Me after she. Then uh, Motas, was that you? Yeah. Okay. So we'll go in that order, okay? Okay. Uh, I read it until you. Well. We'll begin right at the start of the title. Did you get the new document? Yes. Okay. But until to next the next person. Oh, um, you know, just I don't know, three or four lines maybe. Okay. Okay. So, the pet story. Cody and his sister April decided they want a dog. They head down to the local pet sh store and have a look around. It's a, a very small pet store that doesn't have many animals. The owner of, of the shop is a nice old man named Mr. Smith. He walks over and greets Code and April. Okay. Okay. Ingrid, were you going next? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, how Okay, um, how can I help you? He asks. We would like to buy a dog, April responds. Ah, well, we are not a big pet shop, Mr. Smith tells her. So we only have two dogs to choose from. 
They asked Mr. Smith to show them the dogs. Four lines. Okay. Okay. Uh, fantastic. Let's go on then. Uh, Sebastian, okay. I think you're up. Yes. Mr. Smith leads them to the back of the store where the two dogs are. One of them is a very big bulldog named Buster. The other is a very tiny chi chihuahua named Teacup. April wants Teacup. Cody wants Buster. They walk outside to discuss. They can't agree on a dog. April suggests they race home for it. The winner of the race chooses the dog. Cody agrees then tells April he shoelace is untied. When April looks down, he runs off and gets a head start. Cody runs as hard as he can. He really wants the, that bulldog. He looks back. April is so far behind. He can't even see him. Very nice. Um, I think we have some room for some other readers. Do we have anyone that like to volunteer? Diego, me. Okay, Diego, you're up. I'm sorry, I got lost. Where did he finish? Um, let's see. Let me switch over. Go from uh, Cody finally. Cody finally gets home, yeah. Okay. Cody finally gets home. He's tired, but he's happy. He knows he's the winner. April arrives a few minutes after Cody. She congratulates him. They return to the pet store to purchase Buster the Bulldog. However, when they arrive, they only see Teacup, the Chihuahua. Very okay. good. And let's have one more reader. Me, the Who? Me. <laughs> Laura? Okay. Go yes. ahead, Laura. Okay. They asked Mr. Smith where Buster is. Mr. Smith gives the details. He explains that a few minutes after April and Cody leave, two boys walk in, a, in and buy the bulldog. Cody looks at April and she holds back a smile. Cody hides. He turns back to Mr. Smith. Uh, sometimes you win the race, but not the prize. Cody, Cody smiles sadly. We'll take the Chihuahua, please. Very nice. Uh, you guys have great reading skills. Now I want to finish class tonight with uh, some questions to see how well you understood. And I see Brenda hanging out in the chat waiting for the song. You ha everybody has to do a great job on these questions if you want to earn the song, okay? So, question number one. Please describe the pet, sh the pet store. Describe the pet store. We'll just take answers in the verb link chat. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> And this is a good time, actually, to practice writing a full sentence. So if I say, describe the pet store, we might start, the pet store is... Very good. There's a small pet store. Uh, very small, very small pet store. Okay. We could also say, the pet store is small. Uh, Motaz, very good, local, small, doesn't have many animals. Okay, so I think so far, Motaz, uh, you're definitely, Sebastian, definitely earning the song. Very good. What about I'm writing everything on the Google chat. Oh, you're writing on the Google chat. Okay, let me look over there. I know, you don't want to miss out. Yes. Very good, Diego, that looks nice. Okay, question number two. How does Cody trick April? While you're writing that one, uh, Rod, let me comment on your answer. Usually an antique is something that's very old and uh, it act sometimes like furniture or things like that are called antiques. So probably the pet store would not be an antique, okay? Only for nouns, not for things? Yes, um, 
but it means uh, old and it's valuable because of its age. Usually they've been uh, preserved in a good state. A lot of times things like furniture or sometimes uh, even toys or things like that are considered antiques. But a whole store probably not. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the question was how does Cody trick April? Igor, great answer. He runs off and gets a head start. He told her that her shoelace is untied. Good, Motas. I'm going to show you. We'll just uh, switch two letters around. Cody tells April that she had her shoelace untied. Very nice. So we're getting a little bit more here. Excellent. I'm going to look on Google Chat. Uh, nothing new there right now. Okay, let's go to question number three. Why do the kids buy the Chihuahua? Why do the kids buy the Chihuahua? I should type that in. Okay, Motas for but because some guy bought the dog that Cody wants. Okay. Laura says, because two guys bought the another dog. Laura, yeah. I need I need to help you. Okay. I wrote it too. Guys is spelled like that. <laughs> I have a mistake. <laughs> Do you know what the other word is you wrote? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gay guys is is different than gays, okay? <laughs> All right, we don't know about those guys. I mean, maybe <laughs> we don't know. It's <laughs> good. All right. Next one. Uh what is the owner of the shop? Excuse me. Who is the owner of the shop? Mr. Smith, good Igor. Luis, I like the sentence. Mr. Smith is the owner of the shop. Very good. The owner of the pet shop is Mr. Smith. Very nice, Sebastian. Nice old man. Named Mr. Smith. Named would be like this. There you go. Yeah, you had it already. Okay. Fantastic. Some wonderful answers. Let me check on Google Chat. Uh, the owner of the shop is Mr. Smith. Very nice, Diego. Uh, the way you guys are writing is very nice. Don't forget, of course, uh, like, like many languages, the first word in a sentence is capitalized, and we need punctuation on the end of period or something like that. Um, let's go uh, one more, one more question. Who wins the race? Very nice, Sebastian. Cody wins the race. Cody for the win. Okay, Rod. Very nice. Cody won the race, and we win your voice. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to compliment you on using the past tense of one. That's very good. But I don't know. Adam <laughs> Oh, wow. All right. Wow, I hope my computer doesn't jam up right now or something. Wow. <laughs> Actually, so Cody wins the race, but he doesn't. <laughs> Brenda, you're going to have to answer some questions if you want to uh, win the prize. 
Um, <laughs> let's see. What? Let me think of one more question here. Um, do you think the ending of the story is fair? I'm sorry. It's what? I'm typing it right now. Do you think the the ending of the story is fair, and why? <laughs> Just a little preview. <laughs> Okay, let's see some answers. Uh, <laughs> that's the, no, no, that doesn't have anything. Okay, Motel's already <laughs> yours. Yes, because Cody cheated in the first place. Very good. Cody is uh, also like that. The word like this uh, is actually code. That's, um, it's mm, the fast typing. Oh, okay, you're just fast typing. Okay. Yeah, because Cody tried to play a trick with his sister. Okay, very good, Louise. Uh, I'm going to look on the other side. Diego, Cody won it, but at the end, his sister did. I really think so, because Cody cheated on his sister. Okay, um, actually, those are different answers. Cody won it is the previous question, and I really think so is the last question. Oh, okay, okay. Fantastic. I want to say something too. Um, usually, when you say "cheated on," um, that usually refers to like a relationship. If you're not loyal to, so you probably just want to say um, "Cody cheated his sister." Oh. Like this. I'm typing on the Google chat. Yeah. Cody cheated his sister, not he cheated on his sister. That would be kind of weird. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. Okay, so I think that was a really good class, actually. Oh. And it's going to be better. <laughs> and uh, I think it might get better here. All right, I'm just going to have to, um, let me just put a paper up because I'm embarrassed. No, 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 no. no, no. Okay, now, uh, before no, no, I do no. this, I know I'm going to end immediately after this. I hope that everybody will join me in the next class. The next class no, is actually one with a lot of great conversation and you'll have more chance to speak in that. But uh, I guess a promise is a promise. And this yeah, came, yeah, yeah. you know, this came from last week. Uh, some of my students, I don't know how you got me to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but um, <laughs> but I did and I thought, well, if that motivates you to participate, maybe I will. But now I gotta get serious, okay? <laughs> so I can't laugh. Okay, I gotta get serious. So uh, before I end, I just want to say thank you for coming to class. Uh, does anyone have any final questions before we go on? What is the name of the song? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> La Corta. <laughs> oh, yeah. La Corta. La Corta. <laughs> La Corta. Okay. So, everybody moves your phone, micro microphone, please. Yes. No, everybody so, does not have to mute their microphone. And enjoy <laughs> that <laughs> concert. Okay, just a second. I have to make sure that one thing happens. Corbin, put your phone away. You're not going to record this. <laughs> <laughs> Corbin, do it. always do, do that. Corbin, Melissa, will you please make Corbin? Thank you. Okay. So, were you able to hear the music before? Yes, yes. Okay, because I wanted the accompaniment. Okay. So, uh, with this, uh, good night to everybody. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to turn off and reboot my computer, and I hope to see you in the next class. And if you have any requests for my next song, Please uh, just add them onto my Verbling Facebook page, and I'll see what I can do. Okay. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Yeah. Ooh. All right. All right. <laughs> hmm.
No. La puerta se cerró detrás de ti y nunca más volviste a aparecer. Dejaste abandonada la ilusión que había en mi corazón por ti. La puerta se cerró detrás de ti y así detrás de ti se fue mi amor creyendo que podría convencer a tu alma y a... <laughs> That's wrong. Very good. <laughs> and then Nate, and then you Don't explain it all the time. Look, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. It was sorry. very nice. <laughs> and Nate, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Maybe yeah. next time a rap or something. I don't know. But if you keep working hard, uh, maybe you can get another prize. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, thank you for your participation in class is tonight. It, Nate, Bye -bye. Nate, is your wife watching you right now? Yes, <laughs> she is. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, oh. no, she's not watching. She's just laughing. At me. <laughs> so, she she was enjoying that concert. I don't know. I'll ask her. That's were you enjoying that concert? She said she loved it, but I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Brenda. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, well, um, thank you, everybody. I hope to see you in the next class. And we'll have a lot of conversation in the next class, so it should go pretty quick. Thank you very much. I will see you in you. two minutes. You're great students. Keep working. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.